I'm somebody who really likes Minecraft videos, and one of the main reasons I like Minecraft videos is because I like to put them on in the background while I'm playing Minecraft. Now there's a hundreds and hundreds of fantastic creators out there. Just to name a few of my favorites, there's B00, Mogswamp, Iskow85, Eat Those Lab, Good Times of Scar, Pearlescent Moon, and I mean countless, countless others. But I find that they can't put out content fast enough and that I just end up with nothing to watch. Now Shamar Moore and the series premiere of SWAT said that if you want to make a change you got to be the change. So what did I decide to do? I decided to make my own Minecraft videos, videos that I would watch in my spare time while playing Minecraft. Now there's a lot of genres of Minecraft out there and one of my favorite genres is servers. I specifically like Hermitcraft and all the people on it. I love watching Hermitcraft. I'm so excited for season 10 to come out. But when it comes to servers, I can't really play on them because I don't have friends. Well, well, I do have friends, but I don't have friends who play Minecraft enough to get on a server with me and produce content. So for now, I'm just going to be by my lonesome, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay being by myself in a single-player world. That's fine. But the single-player community has genres of its own, one of those main genres being hardcore Minecraft. And while I would love to be great at the game like some of these YouTubers and survive for thousands and thousands of days, I am not that good. I die all the time. I die so much, I probably die more than Good Times of Scar. And that's all love to Good Times of Scar, but I die a lot. And that's just the way I play the game. I'll take on pillagers with no armor just because they're there, or I'll jump off a cliff onto a hay bale or a water square just because it's down below. Um, and because of the way I play, I don't trust myself to create a hardcore series. I just don't. I I feel like the first episode I'd be like, oh, I started in Minecraft hardcore and I'd, you know, put a lot of effort into editing this episode together. And then the next episode I put out would have to be, oh, I died in Minecraft hardcore. And I don't want to put myself through that. So for this series, I'm just going to play normal Minecraft. And for vanilla Let's Plays, a lot of people like to reset their worlds over and over and over and over and over and over again. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to update my world just because a new update came out or because I got bored. I want to keep playing this world. And I really respect creators who play in a world for a really, really long time. One of those creators, B-Dubs, is one of my absolute favorite creators. And it's because not only is he a phenomenal builder, but in his series Building with B-Dubs, he just builds these beautiful creations just because he wants to, just for the love of the game and to experiment and to learn new things. And I absolutely love that about B-Dubs. But then there's also creators out there like Mog Swamp, who's had his Minecraft vanilla super flat for over 10 years. And I think that is absolutely phenomenal. I think the stuff he's been able to accomplish on that world is ridiculous. And I absolutely love his videos. And then there's also the GOAT himself. Ethos Lab, who's on episode 540 something of his Let's Play, and is just an absolute genius. But now to get into the world that this series is actually going to cover. Now, I previously had a different world called Redstone Ravage, and I absolutely loved that world. I felt like I built some fantastic builds in there, but I felt it was time for something new. And the 1.20 update in Minecraft was a perfect opportunity. So last summer when it came out, I decided I would start building in a new world. And I began posting on Instagram. I have an Instagram. It's called Mellow Minecraft 277. But I began posting my builds there because I wanted to start creating Minecraft content and sharing it. But a big reason I made this channel is because if you look at my Instagram at the time this video is coming out, my last post was in July of 2023. That's like six months ago. And I still haven't put out a new post. But it's not because I haven't been building. It's because when I post on Instagram, I want the build to be completely finished. And sometimes when I build, there's one specific block that's in my vision for the build, but not in my inventory. In this case, it was frog lights, which had become the absolute bane of my existence. But I didn't have frog lights, so I couldn't finish a build and post on Instagram. But I couldn't explain that to an Instagram audience who's wondering, where is this guy gone? Where has he been for six months? He, we haven't seen him. It's because I ran into frog lights and they have absolutely halted my progress, but I can't explain that unless I create a video format or a YouTube video. So here I am, but I'm going to be honest with you. When it comes to Minecraft Let's Plays, a lot of people like the beginning of the world and they like the end dragon fight. But here's the thing. You guys have missed that. You've missed both the beginning and the end dragon fight. And I don't really feel like resetting, so I'm sorry, but 
I'm going to stick in this world and we're going to keep on building and that's just how it, how it's going to work. But now we're finally inside of the world itself. And now I could show you absolutely everything that I built inside of this world, but I'd run out of content really, really quickly if I did that. So instead, I'm just going to show you this. Now, this is my 1.20 village that I've already posted on Instagram. And I'm calling it Bamboo Village because I built it mostly out of bamboo. But for some reason, I already locked the map of this village, even though I haven't finished it. Now this first build right here, this is my starter house that I've kind of enclosed in a cave. And if you go inside this door, you can see my ender chest, you can see a crafting area, you can see a ton of furnaces for extra smelting. There's some barrels over here for tons of tons of storage. Nice little sniffer pot with a flower on top of it. My little sleeping area, some enchanting books, and my valuables, the map I showed you earlier. And if I go down here, you can see my starter cave. Now in the back of my starter cave is a campfire area for cooking. Over here is my sniffer farm. If I go back towards the entrance, there is a nice little staircase. And then if I cut real quick, there's a little auto composter and a skeleton bone farm back here. Cactus farm in the back corner, little wheat farm right here. And if you're wondering why there's a line in it, it's because of this failed dripstone farm that I made up here. Uh, and I will fix it one day, but I haven't gotten to it yet. If I go out here, there's a nice little villager church that I rebuilt with my boy Petey. And if I just take a look around some of the rest of the village, uh, here I keep cows behind the farm for my leather needs. There's a nice big house right here, but I'll check it out in a second. First, there's this cave I dug out that has a chicken farm in the back of it and four wool colors of sheep farms, obviously. And then this inside this big house is more sheep farms and a pig farm. And then over here, I have a nice little barn with a camel stable on the side and a pig pen back here hey guys and then if you see these carts I, I have little things dotted around there's a lightning rod that I just passed uh, just dotted around the village to add more character a little sheep pen uh, some bamboo with the storage being over here and then I have sugarcane over here storage right here hey hey my cart uh, yep it's working fine it's working phenomenally and then my bees are up here if you saw the alleys back there. And if I just head up these stairs, uh, and then head up this tower, whoop, uh, here's my OG sniffer farm with my first two sniffers that I found in the world and probably in some warm ocean biome. And so I'm just gonna run over to the docks real quick. Whoop. Uh, yeah, just parkour my way over here. And as we go to the docks, you'll see not only is there a little pond with some seating areas over here to my right, uh, there's also some crabs and some starter houses that I built around here. Or not really starter houses, but nice little houses. There's also a librarian named Patrice. Hi, Patrice. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, and then there's some turtles and some chinampas, which are absolutely fantastic. I can go on and on about chinampas, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. And then you, I have some boats that I built along the dock area. And my favorite boat is this boat right here, which I rebuilt using shipwrecks I found on Minecraft Wiki out of the bamboo blocks and added some sails to that I found in a video that I will link down below. But that's about all I have time for in this video. This has been Mellowman277, and I thank you very much for watching. Thank you.